Oh, yeah. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. I'm so sorry. It's been like 500 years. Ah, oh, this is your big moment, and I'm ruining it. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot my jacket. I want you to put me in the booth. I want to feel like a person for a second. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. All right, Quagmire, you do upper, I'll do lower. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> wow, thanks, guys. Uh-oh. Guys, guys, put him back up. I just thought of something. <laughs> This is gonna be a blast. And don't you worry, I'll be ready. Unlike Lois getting dressed for a night out. Tell them the truth. It's me, it's me. I'm the one who takes too long to get ready. It's cause I don't have any nice clothes. Peter? All right, it's cause I don't like the way I look. Okay, nobody move. Oh my God, those guys in first class have guns. Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. This plane now belongs to us. You move, you're dead. So nobody try to get smart. Hmm, page 100. Hmm. That'll be $16. That's expensive. Yes, sir, everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you... <laughs> you want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. Peter's brain. Yeah, uh, this is the muscle department. What the hell is he doing? Uh, he's trying to sprint. Has he had any water? No, he told his wife there's juices in the hot dogs. Well, I'm sorry. I got no choice but to call for a complete muscle failure. <laughs> Crashing this plane into the ultimate symbol of American materialism, Las Vegas. You know, I've lost a ton in Vegas, but I never thought I'd lose my life there. You know, you are seriously funny, man. I know I crap on you a lot, but sometimes when I'm driving, I think about stuff you say and I laugh. Thank you, Peter. No, thank you. What the hell? Hey, Chris, get in here. This is impossible, right? All of Meg's farts here in this box? I would think that's impossible. Yeah, right? That's impossible. Is this the box? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's impossible. I know, it's impossible, right? Okay, okay, all right, I'm opening it. Unless whoever sent it was magic. Oh, well, now that's interesting. Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes. What happened at school today? You're kind of a dick, Dad. Huh. I wonder if there's anyone in here whose dad was a bigger dick. Wow, crazy! We can't have a bat flying around the house. We gotta do something. Don't worry, Lois. I'll get rid of it. It'll be a piece of cake. Just like my penis enhancement. I want it to hang down to my knees. They moved up my knees. Oh, hey, high five. Hey, did you just high five that sign? Yeah. You think differently. Get in. His name was Derek, but he went by the Prophet when times were good. I moved on to his prayer farm with 45 other members of the Salvation Star Boys who died in a mass suicide. But not me, because I don't like root beer, and I only drink what I like. I called Lois to pick me up. She was mad, but she's what Derek calls an oppressing doubter. May the light of Derek's invincible diamond shine through you. I don't know about this, Dr. Hartman. We might need a little bit of time to think this over. Yeah, because we don't want to make a big mistake, like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park. I'll tell you that much. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was the chatty guy. We've got to get to the hospital and get Stewie vaccinated. Yeah, it might be a little too late for that. I kind of destroyed all the vaccines in town. What else did I have to do today? Ah, yes, overdose in my apartment. 
I better get home. Griffin leering dead. A quick question. In Shake It Off, you invite us to get down to, quote, this sick beat. Yet the beat you then provide is rather mild. Hi, Taylor. Stewie Griffin. I'm your biggest fan. Okay, so let's talk about Harry Styles. Now, you don't have to say anything. I'm just going to slowly pull out this tape measure, and you indicate when I should stop. Okay, here I go. Still going? Oh, my God, you bitch. Seriously? Look, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I think it's hilarious, and, and I totally get that the sex thing is what made me popular, but would it kill us to just once tell a joke that brings glory to God? Which one of you idiots wrote this script? Uh, I did. Oh, would you write it, like, on a computer? Yeah. So you know a lot about computers? Y yeah. Can you show me how to turn off the flashlight on my phone? And another thing, I read this piece of garbage script. It's only one page. That's never gonna cut it. Uh, that's just the cover. You can turn the page. Well, why are you hiding all these pages behind the first page? Stand by your work or get out. Now spit in each other's mouths. You know I'm only tough on you because I hate you, right? Oh, my God! <laughs> Hurry! I can't hold it! Okay, let me just unstrap my baby. Oh, 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 slipping, slipping, sorry. Thanks for letting me ride on a bus with you. Hey, you want to have some locker room talk? I moved on her, actually. Whoa, 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 that's not a locker room talk. As long as you didn't try to f*** her and she was single. I did try and f*** her. She was married. Oh, you're awesome. Hey, you ever thought of being president? And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. Couldn't get there, and she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony d*** in her, but she's totally changed her look. Which reminds me, I have an idea for this thing called Twitter, where crazy people can bash ladies and minorities at 3 a.m. She's your girl's hottie in the purple. I gotta use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. That's the cheapest breath mint. I thought you were a billionaire. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. What, like grab them by the hand? Grab them by the... Oh, my. Why don't we all go ahead and turn to page six in the handout? The first thing you're going to notice is a bar graph. And what that is, is to indicate our international sales. Which peaked, oh, of course, yeah. during the last to drop off as we enter the colder weather. The storm's moving away. All right, we can go, Lois. Lois? <laughs> What? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? Yuck. Lois? 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois? Hey, what are you... Lois? 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 Oh, Peter, come and get your lollipops. <laughs> Peter, you mustn't. I've got cream pies, trinkle tarts. Trinkle tarts? <laughs> I'm gonna get so molested. Hey, where's the vegetable aisle? Yeah, right, it's 2 a.m. You're not here for vegetables. Well, I got the 12 cucumbers. What's wrong? Just this guy at the... Oh, never mind. God, President Putin, what are you doing here? Husband write me impertinent email. Says any American can beat up any Russian. I am here to prove him wrong, unless he American chicken. Did you just call me chicken? Nobody calls me chicken. I have a million dollar check for someone named chicken. <gasps> a conflict. <coughs> oh, oh. You had enough? Oh, oh, oh. oh, looks like Putin's phone is buzzing. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. You leave that gorgeous piece of ass alone. I was right about you from the start, Putin. You can't just do whatever you want in the world and get away with it. It's time someone stood up to you and survived.
Tonight, we are here to see the fight to determine East-West superiority. Fighting for Russia, President Vladimir Putin. For America, Kevin James. Everybody here thinks I'm Kevin James. Enough! There are other ways to settle our differences. Say you. Yes, say me. Vlad and I finished our dance, then spent the rest of the night talking. The next day, he poisoned me on the limo ride to the airport with radioactive tea. Lost half my body weight, all my hair, and I have lesions that'll never heal. That's our president's best friend. Say you, say me. So this is in Russia? Somebody's gonna slow him down, right? Huh, got a new email here. And it's from a Nigerian prince. All he needs is a hundred grand to pay legal fees, and then as soon as he gets his money, I get a million bucks. Wow, and he must need it quick, because there was like a bazillion typos in that email. You gotta send that money. I mean, can you imagine if you make a million bucks? You'll be happier than a guy on his wedding day. I made a million dollars. What? How? Carter sent a hundred thousand dollars to a Nigerian prince who's gonna give him a million. Oh, Peter, don't tell me you two fell for that scam. It's the oldest email scam out there. The assets are frozen, you cover legal fees, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God, he did say blah, blah, blah. You're never getting that money back. What? Jeez, I'm really sorry, Carter. But at least you have your health. <coughs> oh. You know, this is your fault. You're the one who said I should do it. I am going to Africa and get my money back. And you're coming with me. Africa? We're going to Africa? I wonder if it will change us. But of course, it did change us. Do you ever regret not having children, Mother Bernadette? Oh, I've had many children. Um, what's the name of this place? Dicks. And, and what's that say on your shirt? Dicks. Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Start the car, Chris. Did you get him yet? We got him. Get down on the ground. <laughs> this is unacceptable. I demand to speak to Anthony Anderson. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I answer this call. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Griffin. Yes, I did call you about the eight-piece lawn croquet set. Just how wet it is it? Yeah, go ahead and send me a pic. That'd be very helpful. Sir, shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I look at these pictures. <laughs> Jerome, give me a beer. Oh, why? Because I'm like your slave? Man, you're no better than your racist dog. Come on, man. Brian was just making a joke. I told you. Come on, he deleted his tweet. But the hurt has been RT'd in our hearts. Peter, you better get out of here before I start saying sir like a cop. Look, Joe, it's me, Peter. Sir, I, I don't want to have to ask you again. Please leave. All right, fine. Sir! No, Joe, Joe, he's leaving. Sir! Joe, Joe. Sir! He's gone. Sir! It's okay. Sir! He's gone. But I'm glad we have our normal, very average, non-famous baby back. You know, I was once a very famous baby. Were you, Peter? No. But you see how easy it is for me to lie to you? I do it every day. Anyway, looks like everything worked out for the best. Your dog wrote an insensitive tweet. You can't eat here. It was just a joke. Yeah, we live in a post-joke world. Chris, maybe we should just eat outside? No, Meg, we're eating here. I'd like to see you try. It was a joke. Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am going to go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea! You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! Oh! No! I'm so sick of your crap! Why do you always do these stupid things? And why do you always announce them to me before you do them? That's what you want! Oh, no, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. I'm sorry. It's never been this bad before. What do we do? What we always do. I'm in charge of my head. That much I know. I gotta face them and hope they'll forgive me. Anyway, I, I wanna... Oh, 
apologize somewhere else. Boo. I want to read a few words. Boo. Liar. Boo. Brian Griffin. Boo. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today to apologize. Why did you say ladies first? That's sexist. Gentlemen and ladies. Boo says the man. Humans in the audience. I identify as a basketball. Humans and basketballs. I'm a parrot who mimics words but doesn't comprehend them. Humans, basketballs, talking parrots, and, and whatever else is out there. Whatever? It's whoever. All right, all right, just, just calm down, okay? Now you're tone policing us. That makes me uncomfortable. Anything that makes me uncomfortable in 2017 should be illegal. You know what? <laughs> you're not gonna rape me, are you? Of course I'm not gonna rape you. I'm gonna make you fall in love with me. Then we'll see what happens. Oh, no. It's already working. Griffin, you have a visitor? Carter, what are you doing here? Hello, Griffin. I'd like to talk to you about these charges that have been brought against you. I, uh, guess I'll see you in a little bit. It's gonna feel like an eternity. How is it that I'm only just now meeting you? You know, even though you and Peter have your differences, I'm glad it hasn't affected our friendship. Us redheads have to stay together, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Stuck at Work. Hilly, Nicole, you got the wrong idea. How does this bitch know my name? Bitch? Okay, ho. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Come on now, ladies. <laughs> awesome. A chick chick and chick fight. <laughs> I don't think it's lost on any of us that the laws are written on white paper. Yeah, white paper. Check your jacket pocket. I don't think it's lost on any of us that... Hey, look, I'm just saying, it's no surprise that justice isn't colorblind. Check your other jacket pocket. Hey, look, I'm just saying it's no surprise... Stewie, you're a jerk. Check Chris's pocket. What, there's nothing in here, and... Oh, God, the bottom of the pocket's been cut out. Thanks, Brian. I was the mastermind behind this whole thing. Lois, I tossed a penny in a shot glass, so get your pants off and put a towel on the kitchen table. Peter, I'm in the middle of book club. Forget book club, we're doing it. Anyone who doesn't want to see my big white flailing butt, get the hell out. What are you working on? Oh, just trying to make some sense of these numbers. <laughs> what the... What did you hit? What happened to my spreadsheet? What exactly was the end game if I hadn't walked in? Yeah, that's the sound a rich family's turkey makes. There's still a lot more groceries in the car. Well, it's not a race. Take a break. Uh, if you knew how close we were to putting you down last year. I have milked all the goats. Peter, all those goats are males. Well, the buckets are full and the goats are happy. I just hope word doesn't get around. I like good times. Where are you going? Home. Where's home? The White House. Okay, I'm here. This is my house. You can go now. Thanks for taking me home. Go ahead. Go inside. I, I gotta look through the mail first. You know how it is. It's a bad neighborhood. If I don't see you go inside, I'll be thinking about it all night. <sighs> Come on in, Mr. President. Oh, my God, what the hell did the goats do in here? This place is disgusting. Where's your father? Peter! Lois is mad. Go to the clam. Yeah, I both saw you and recognized my husband's voice. Lois, I, I didn't know you were home. Well, I guess we can all agree this was a great idea. The end. Banana family guy. Even I can see that your sister's a huge bully. And trust me, I know more about getting bullied than anyone. You do? How? Man, I love that song. Lois, I worry this is not a healthy environment for the children. Lois, I've seen enough. You're completely overwhelmed and you have four children. <laughs> 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 Four children. Hey! Pygow, you lose again. That was awesome. I can't believe these tables are always empty. You play again? Nope, out of money. I'm just gonna wait for my drink. Oh, on the wrong floor. Almost time for lunch. 
How was everything? Delicious. The prime rib was mostly fat. Should I charge it to your room? No, I had to check out, even though my flight's not until midnight. Now, how does one with no money get to the airport? <laughs> Hey, buddy, you're blocking the outlet. Oh, sorry, there was no cheers. Hi, Peter. How was Vegas? Oh, it's the best. You know, I forgot about this weekend trip. Is, is that something we still want to do? Of course I do. I mean, we've already had six nights out together. It'd be great to have three more. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what any guy wants. The same gal again and again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again and again and again. And every gal wants the same guy who keeps getting fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. Stop it right there, Lois. This is Family Guy. We only do the male side of the joke. Paul was a good man. A good friend. I'll... I'll always remember how supportive he was when... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't... I can't... I can't do this. Hey, do you have the address? I think it's in my pocketbook somewhere. Because I gotta know if we should take 24 or 495. Hang on. Anything? Hang on. Exit's coming up. Half a mile. Quarter mile. Oh, you'd think I could find it. Yeah, yeah, I would. I would. Okay, I'm taking 495. Here it is. It says take 24 to 128. And the Lord's 11th commandment, Moses gets to be first in line at the buffet. What? Oh, seriously? I know, you guys, it's so lame, but that's what it says. You okay? You guys okay? Great seats. Yeah, it's a whole different game when you sit down here. Is anybody else getting a little freaked out by all these scary stories? Yeah, even my spine is tingling. You guys, I'm scared. You remember that movie, The Blob? What if the blob? Let's get out of here. Somebody must have locked us in. We're gonna die in here. Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. <coughs> uh, don't feel so good. <coughs> Ew. <coughs> Ew. <coughs> Hey, bruh? Yeah? Ah! Damn it! Ah! There's glass in my eye! Ah! Mom says dinner's at six. She wanted me to tell people. I don't know why. You see that rock formation over there? We're gonna fly right through the center of it. It's called threading the needle. Or, or how about this? Maybe you jump off this cliff, and I spin around over there and sing Sound of Music. Or, or we could just go home and watch Sound of Music. Watch. Look at him go! You know, just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes, holy s***! Oh, what, what, just, there's almost nothing left of him! And I just know I'm gonna be the one to have to identify the body. That's him. Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. These two poor souls are the best combination for a rainy Saturday. Yes, I'll have what I had last time, pheasant on the glass. Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Nope. Yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Hey, Suey. You want to check out the go-kart I used in Days of Thunder? Yeah, listen, um... I just found out I'm actually going to be tall, so I'm no longer comfortable hanging out with someone whose teeth are bigger than their fingers. So, see you later. You are making a big mistake, Stewie. Nobody walks away from Tiny Tom Cruise. Yeah, except for all three of your wives. Okay, I'm shutting this now. Okay, so, bye. There's a condom in the pocket, and it's used. <laughs> Who else but Quagmire? <laughs>
Hmm, not bad. Also, the tomatoes can be eyes, and the lettuce can be hair. Look down, there's also a carrot. Terrific food and a hilarious sidekick? You're hired, just as long as your friend joins you. I say let's do it! Whoops. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what to do now. That was a wrong choice, Peter. Damn it, I tried two things that all kids love. Coffee and old seed packets. And all any of you can do is stare at those Game Boy machines. No more screens. I'm locking those things up. Wait, you what? Oh, come on, what the hell? Oh. How else am I supposed to get my degree from the University of Phoenix? Credit card information and submit. And I'm a lawyer. We find the defendant guilty of murder. Sorry. Okay, last night I did some personality assessments based on yesterday's session. And what I found was none of you couples are compatible with each other at all. No, 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 that's not a good thing. But interestingly, you have high compatibility with other people in this group. Oh my God, that is crazy. More mac and cheese? Yeah, just keep it going, keep it going. Give me the tray. Wait, so what happened? <coughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to get a free movie set haircut. Now, what can I say about the man of the hour? Peter Griffin. Oh boy, here it comes. Well, first off, Peter's always been special. In high school, he didn't play sports, but he did wear a helmet. Now, Peter, I love your chin, but I gotta ask, what's it like going through life with a scrotum so close to your mouth? You know what? Hold on, I'll just ask your teenage daughter. <laughs> Peter's challenging the stereotype of Irish guys being fat, drunk, and stupid by throwing a little gay in there, too. But I gotta say, the worst part of being Peter's friend is knowing that eventually you're gonna have to be the fat ass's pallbearer. <laughs> Lift with the legs, right, fellas? Pe people think I'm fat? But seriously, everyone, let's have a big round of applause for the real hero tonight, Peter's chair. <laughs> How you holding up, buddy? <laughs> okay, yeah, I got something to say. Screw all you guys! None of you bastards are my friends no more! <laughs> I just think you're a really cool island, and I'd like to get to know- Oh, God! Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You're just so pretty. Please, don't tell the other islands. Next time there's a sandwich in the fridge with somebody's name on it, don't eat it, scumbag! Please, you don't understand! Oh, I understand. That lunch didn't have your name on it, but this bullet does. My name is Peter, too! Hey, man, just a heads up. Instead of howling at the moon tonight, we're all gonna yell, cock a doodle doo! Really? That seems weird. I'm just trying to make sure you don't look silly. Cock a doodle doo! <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot! He actually believed me! That's what a rooster says, not a wolf! How was howling at the moon? Shut up! Why aren't you asleep? Have you been drinking again, Phil? That's none of your business. I never wanted a cub. Get out! Get out now and don't ever come back! Now, which Cylon is that? Uh, uh I think it's number six. Wait, is that the same number six that had sex with Dr. Baltar? I don't... I've been, I've been watching this the same exact amount of time you have, Lois. I don't know anything you don't. What does that green button on the far panel do? How in God's name would I know that? I don't know! It's green, so it probably makes something go. Yes, you heard me right. Cancel my insurance. I've been in this location for 40 years, and never once have I broken a lamp. God, I hope he's got insurance. Of course he's got insurance. He's been at this location for 40 years. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Cancel my husband's life insurance. He's been in perfect health for 40 years. We're selling the lamp store and going to travel. Oh. Peter, where are you? I thought we were gonna go after Becca. Way ahead of you, Lois. I just cut her brakes. What? Don't you think that's a little dangerous? 
Hey, you're the one who said we should try to ruin our marriage. What's that? Oh, I, I just ran a red light. My car won't slow down for some reason. Geez, I'm going like 95. Peter, are you sure you didn't cut your brakes? Well, that's ridiculous. Why would I cut my own? Kids, get out of the way! I can't stop! Ryan, go outside. Keep guard for Michael Myers. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh, yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. Maybe I should send Bonnie. <laughs> oh, oh, my! <laughs> All right, somebody say something else. No, you need to know what you did. Oh, God. I think it looks good. You are, you are just trying anything, aren't you? Just searching for an identity, man. And you think this is gonna be it, huh? Oh, God, whatever. Wow. You know, when you see it up close, it really is incredible. Yeah. Holy crap, it's beautiful. You know, Lois always dreamed about coming here, and now I know why. She was even saving money for it. You made it, Lois. You made it. I thought I was dead. I even pictured my own funeral. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Walking on I don't know, Chris. No I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Oh, I'm gonna miss my daddy. Peter, you promised me you would do the dishes. Well, I was doing the dishes for a while, but they were inexperienced, so I ended up having to rub one out. Where in the hell did you get the idea that that's what I meant by doing the dishes? From Dirty Amelia Bedelia. Almost done vacuuming the rug! Hey, can you buy us some beer? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it'd be right. Ugh, I knew you weren't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. But what we could really use is some weed. I think that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Oh, no, no, hold on a minute. Did you or did you not distribute alcohol and marijuana to minors? No, Your Honor, I did not. Told you this defendant wasn't cool. Oh, no, 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 hold on a minute. What'd you do this week? What, so you can make fun of me? No, Meg, I'm your father, and I'm interested in what my daughter did this week. You promise you're not going to make fun of me? Of course, Meg, I care about my family. It enhances my life to know how yours is going. You promise? Okay, well, now you owe me an apology. I'm sorry. I'm not used to you wanting to know. I, of course, I'd love to tell you what happened. I love you, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Please, I'd like to hear. Well, this is actually kind of funny. I joined the TSA... Into the show, Banana and a Family Guy! Nana start the credits, lots of little names. Nah, 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 gay! Peter, did you throw up in the sink? Out here in the fields. Yeah, that was me. I was the one who threw up in a sink. I farm for my meals. Ah! Out of the way! Nobody else matters! All right, you made it. Now twirl that long hair sticking out of your face mole. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> Excuse me, Mom. Could you please pass it? His brain ain't right, but it's fun. Um, Dad, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. No talking unless I say. Hi, Peter. How'd she know your name? Peter, I, are you just trying to take a knee until the end of the show? Peter, that's not gonna work. You can't just... Mom, I need a check for the school field trip. Jeez, Meg, didn't I just take you on a field trip? Okay, here's the field. Goodbye forever. <laughs> Please help me! I smell gas! Meg! I'm still alive, but I'm badly burned! 
Come save my life! Oh, God, why do bad things happen to good people? Lois, why don't my checks have any writing on them? Well, Peter... What? That's just a wide pad of post-its I gave you. What? So that million-dollar check you gave me yesterday is no good? I quit my job, man! I will not see you Monday. Mr. Griffin, I understand you're here to speak on Mr. Quagmire's behalf. According to Game of Thrones, if the girl has had her blood, she is good to go. Has the girl had her blood? Answer the question. She was underage. However, Mr. Quagmire was born on February 29th. Ergo, he's only 12. Ergo, the girl raped him. Argo, Ben Affleck. The most important thing is you getting better. Stewie? Stewie, help Mommy out and just open the latch, huh? Stewie? 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 Stew. 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 Stewie? Stewie? Stewie! 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 Noise cancelling on. <laughs> It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back so I can push him out again? I was born nine times that day. All right, guys, let's pay the check and get out of here. Happy birthday to you. You guys. Aren't you going to blow out your candles, Peter? Mom, I think something's wrong with Dad. Oh, my God, help! This happens here at Bennigan's all the time. It's best to just move on. I'm sorry, Mrs. Quagmire, but my sentence stands. 20 years. Oh, my God. Oh, don't think of it as 20 years. Think of it as two 10-year-olds, you sick freak. You need to seek forgiveness. You need to kneel before Jesus. Oh, he's going to be kneeling in front of a lot of guys, but I doubt he'll catch their names. Remember, he is inside you all the time. Oh, now she's just setting me up, right? Where do you get off? Pretty much everywhere I hear. <laughs> Fat man's right, they're making this easy. Why are you, of all people, defending a religious nut? Aren't you an atheist? Yeah, it's crazy. You can think about that while you're in jail. Did you hear about your ex-husband yet? He had a, uh, procedure. Really gonna miss all you guys. And I'll think of you whenever I choke on a link sausage. Take care, buddy. Woo! Yeah! Fresh air! Freedom! Where are you off to? Actually, I met a photographer at Stewie's school yesterday, and he wants me to model for him. Lois, please send these back to the factory. I believe they're defective. Oh, my God, Peter, did you just rip your own ears off? It was the easiest way to let her know the news was ridiculous. Okay, Brian, the key to these things is to find a good position to sit on the ground. Yeah, cool. I got that blanket from your trunk. Oh, yeah, the old scratchy trunk blanket. Bring it, use it once, then put it back in the trunk for the rest of your life. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, this is already hurting my hip. We could probably just stand. No, no, we got the blanket. All right, let's try sideways on the elbow. It, ow! Nope, that hurts. Oh, scratchy blanket. Okay, all the way back. Oh, flat back, craning to look up. Terrible. Oh, balls of feet butt hover like a Chinese guy. Oh, oh, all right, standing it is. That's a thousand out of a possible 2,400. That's the worst score in my class. What? Damn it, why did I ever think you were smart? <laughs> Brian's stupid! I must alert the townsfolk! Yeah! Park townsfolk! Brian! Uh, damn, what was it? Brian... Brian goes to college? No. Brian gets another book published? Maybe that's it! Tell all that Brian's getting another book published! I... I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? Brain tumor? How is that possible? As a father in a hospital getting bad news, I am gonna sadly slide down the wall and take my hat off. I forgot the hat. Now I'm gonna help you study by nailing your door shut. That way you'll have no choice but to hit the books. Oh crap, I left my phone in there. Dad, it looks like some girl sent you a picture of her privates. Oh crap, Lois, I don't have the phone! Stop sending pictures! I already sent four more! Put down the phone! Don't look at those! Wait a minute, that's both her hands! Who the hell is taking the pictures? And before you judge your mother, you did most of that damage. We're gonna take you on a special dream trip to help you pass your history test. 
then there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? What was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see those forms. Everyone, move over. We're getting on this boat. Please, take my baby! Yeah, I'm sorry. If I take your baby, I'm gonna have to take everyone's baby. Can you believe that woman? Putting me on the spot in front of everyone. And although I will never get over the pain of what you did to my son, I forgive you because I believe you are sick and in need of help. This is the Office of City Planning. You requested a variance to build a hot tub off your garage. Did I get it? No. I will kill your son! Your son is dead! Great. Here comes that couple with the adult disabled kid. We really want to thank you, God, for testing us. It's been such a blessing. Can't wait to see what that bigger plan is. Well, I can't tell you that, but the good news is this little guy's gonna make it to 74. Oh, damn it! Get out! I need this car! What are you, a cop? No! Jesus is about to have sex with my wife! Oh, then here, take it! I need this car! So do I! Jesus Christ is about to have sex with my wife! Lenny Kravitz is about to have sex with my daughter! Oh! Oh my God! No, here, take the car! Take the car! Hey, kid, I need that toboggan! Jesus Christ is gonna have sex with my wife! Um, okay? What's in your pockets? A rabbit's foot? A pen knife? A bottle cap? A compass? All of it, all of it. Is this thing on? Yes. It's not making any noise. It's a hybrid. Trust me, it's on. No, it's not. See? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Peter, what the hell? You chose a turkey over me? I almost died! I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. If you want, I can take you as far as the bus station. You can? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that is the nicest thing anyone's done for me since my kids gave me that Father's Day gift. The tie. Perfect. It's from all of us. Hi there, folks. Hand over the turkey. What? I can't go back to my wife without a turkey. Bet that thing's not even loaded. You just used your last bullet. <laughs> Running on empty now. <laughs> Brian, give him the turkey. Now go wow your guests with conversation. Hi, Grandma. I got some down there hair now. Wanna see? Uh, <laughs> I should check if your mother needs help in the kitchen. Sometimes I pluck them because I deserve pain. Cut! No! Stop! Remember, Brian's probably very self-conscious about how he looks, so let's try to be supportive. My God, you look like one of those animals. You know, with the one that... Which one does the... That sound? That... Ah, oh crap, you know which one I mean. I couldn't do it. What? I'm sorry, Lois. You think about it. Isn't this holiday about being with people you love? I mean, does it really matter what we eat? Lois, can the turkey please join us for dinner? Not as the meal, but as our guest. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs> the man of the house killed the turkey for Thanksgiving. Looks like we're having turkey after all. <laughs> Four years later, me and Lois divorced and Stewie died. Gobble, gobble. <laughs>